wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Michaela and Zach, y'all gonna stop playing in our faces. That's what you gonna stop doing. And I mean, it stops today. Okay? Don't, 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 don't play with me. Don't play with me. Play with your mom. What's going on, family? We're back. We back up in this thing. We back up in this thing. We back up in this thing. Hey, it's your girl. Hey, y'all. <laughs> it's your girl, Carla. Welcome on back, y'all. Come on back. We got what? What? We got one more episode. Maybe two more episodes left. You know, we got it. We got it. It's a wrap. It's a wrap with this season. Anywho. How y'all doing today? All right, I just I'm just gonna be on here for a minute, okay? I just got I just got a few things to say, but before we get started, let me welcome my new family members. Hello, how are you? My name is Carla. Welcome to the Pretty Girl J channel. Listen, if you've never been here before, I get it in. I got energy. I'm melanated, doggone it. If you couldn't tell that already, and we have fun and express our opinions in the comment section. Now, if you want to talk your stuff and you want to give your opinions, you know, and you want to be a part of this family, all you have to do, boo-boo, is hit that like button. Okay. <laughs> and hit that subscribe. Mm -hmm. And don't forget that bell notification because you, I'm just... <laughs> You just don't want to miss me, all this good energy, all this good juju. It rubs off on you, boo. I'm telling you. It rubs off on Wait you. Wait a minute, family. Who, who, who bumped Dr. Pepper hair? Baby, y'all see that lace front? That girl, she, girl, she coming through, ain't she? She got the lace front with the highlights. And somebody bumped her at the ends a little bit to give her a little, little dimension. You know, okay, now. All right, Dr. Pepper, we, girl. We see you, girl. We see you. Now, she was listening to me because that, that quick weave she had on, I did not like two weeks ago that she had on. I did not care for that quick weave. So, somebody said, let me get my sis um, this nice little lace front wig. And I like it. I like that human hair blend that we got. Okay? I love that wig. Okay? Anywho. <laughs> Y'all never let me have no damn fun. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get I'ma get off of Dr. Pepper, okay? She y'all know she my girl. You know, she my girl, okay? Anywho, why come Dr. Pepper? I don't understand. Some of these some of these people, I want you to I just want her to say family. This ain't going nowhere. Okay, this is trash. If Michaela didn't play us, if she wasn't playing possum and victim. Do you hear me? That girl said, I didn't tell him to leave. He left me. And y'all know I got abandonment issues. What the? Michaela. Michaela. You on your wrist all? What is going on with you? Now, Zach. Zach says, I'm going to pack on the lies. I'm going to tell my version. So I'm going to meet with Dr. Pepper by myself because he requested that they meet separately. Okay, so he could tell his side of the story and, and, and be heard. He comes in. First of all, let me let me just say this. Zach, you too grown of a man to, to sit in a therapy session or have a conversation with another adult. And your posture is like this. Through the whole conversation. Dumb. Sit up straight, damn it. Getting on my doggone nerves. Sit up straight. Hell, you trying to tell these lies you, you own. Playing in our faces talking about some, you know, I, 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 I just feel like um getting divorced would be just most beneficial. Why? Did Bao tell you to get divorced? I know she did a whole lot to you, okay? And I know she playing like she ain't did none to you, you know? But come on. Come on, Zach. A red clock. You playing like you ain't... You you ain't 
put her in a position where she got to come out of the corner fighting. Okay, you won. You forgot you want her to be all that she can be in the army reserve. You remember that? You remember you want her to be I'm every woman like Whitney Houston. Minus the Bobby Brown. You want her to be the woman you want her to be. She can't be J-Lo and Beyonce all the time. I told y'all last week. He's an antagonistic type of person. He throws a rock and hides his hand. And Lord knows I can't stand somebody like that. If you said it, say I said it. If you don't want that woman, say I don't want her because she crazy. She has shown me numerous times that she crazy. I can't handle her crazy. I know my limits. Okay, say that, Zach. Don't sit up in here telling this lady um, that you think getting divorced would be helpful because you can start from scratch. You ain't gonna start from nowhere. You're gonna be gone. Zachary wants a friendship. And I don't know if y'all like me, family, but if I'm done with you, if I'm done with you, male or female, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no calling, ain't no Christmas texts, ain't none of that. We're done. I'm gonna act like I don't know you, don't see you. And if we run into each other on the street or at the bank, I'm just gonna say, were you in line? <laughs> hey, family. Michaela lied. She talking about some Zachary left me and he know I have abandonment issues. And on top of that, she, our girl Michaela says, I, um, after he left, I went into a panic attack. What you panicking for? You told him to go. You told him to take his stupid ass home somewhere. Remember? Michaela, you forgot about the caribous girl. <laughs> Mika hey, Michaela said, he left me. And I didn't do nothing to him. I said, I said, Michaela, what you say? Say, say it again. He left me and I didn't do nothing to him. He knows my triggers and he knew that leaving me would trigger me into a panic attack. So that's what happened. I had a complete panic attack. Michaela, you high? Girl, girl, one edible, not two. One, baby, not two. Zach said, you know what? On second thought, I'm not doing this conference with her. I'm not. I'm out. Mm-hmm. I'm out. Zach has reached his limit of naivete, and he ain't going no further. He said, this is the end of the yellow brick road. We ain't going to see the wizard. Dr. Pepper, I appreciate your services. But you are no longer needed. Baby, he, he left. He said, I'm not dealing with this. She's sitting up here lying. And I said, now, Michaela, girl. Michaela. <clears throat> come here. <clears throat> come on. Come on close. <clears throat> you know they got cameras, right? You know we watch all the playback, right? You know we saw you flip over that table that we rented right Shh, don't don't confirm just nod your head okay <laughs> y'all dr pepper ain't playing with michaela she said you know what she said since zachary's gone he's checked out let me tell you what i've been watching i've been watching your silly crazy medicated unmedicated ass baby can i ask you a question Michaela says, mm-hmm, anything. Mm -hmm. What scene did you hate watching or regret that you saw in yourself? I said, oh, they get to see they self? They get to see the playback? She says, my panic attack. I said, your panic attack, baby, what panic attack? You were hyperventilating? I didn't see no, I didn't see you sweating or nothing. I mean, yeah, you power walked a little bit, but where the panic attack at? Y'all, did y'all see the panic attack? I'm sorry, I've been, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She said she had a panic attack and when she got into her room, she broke down. I said, now, wait a minute, um, hold up. I work in behavioral health, <clears throat> excuse me for one minute, while I analyze like I'm at work. I didn't see a physical manifestation of hyperventilating and, and, and craziness. Okay, we was already there. 
baby, you you flipped out and had a panic attack in private. Because what we saw, what we saw was you hot as hell tearing up these people furniture. I didn't, I mean, you walked fast, flipped over some things, got mad, and then slammed the door. I don't, I didn't see no panic attack. Did y'all see the panic attack? Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? I don't know everything, but what I do know is, uh, I ain't seen no panic attack. I saw a pissed off woman her man was leaving her and she gonna lie and say, when he left me, what I felt was death because my father left and he was driving on the road. And that's how y'all know that's how he got killed by a drunk driver. So when he left me, I felt like he was leaving and it was a death of the relationship. I said, how did we get here where it's a death of a relationship? Because that man said, I'm going away from you to get peace i'm not i'm not i'm neutral okay i see both ends but michaela take ownership you cuss that man out in the bed you were you 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 started what now zachary what you started with him you cussed him out and then on top of that when he said well wait let me clarify he said that let me clarify do do you want you know do you want to leave do you want to go with me and she says i don't need you remember she said that she called sharifa y'all remember sharifa her sister she said sharifa come get me come get me right remember wh where they at uh pine block bluff arkansas wherever they at she said come get me okay sharifa said what the hell is going on now so baby no he did not leave you you pushed him away and said i got me I got me. And he said, okay, are you sure? He asked you that a few times since, and you said, yeah, bye. But then when he was leaving, baby, you went back for his suitcase, his luggage, and I thought that was hilarious because I said, Michaela, at some point you need to stop and say, I don't want my husband to leave and I'm going too far. She has no stop, no chill. So Dr. Pepper said to her, I got a problem with what you're saying, basically. Michaela, KK, you need to work on not projecting your loss in your relationship. She said, listen, I know you lost your father and you, you, you lost keys. You lost many things in your life, but projecting, basically acting a plum dunk fool with your man, your husband. And that ain't the only time she's done that. I don't believe so. I won't ever believe that. You can't do that and expect that man to keep taking it. And for my people, my sisters that are my family on here, if y'all acting like Michaela, I need y'all to stop it right now before that man leave you or that woman. If you're in a same sex relationship, I need y'all to stop right now. That ain't crazy. That that's no showing your ass like that and then blaming it on a panic attack and you ain't on your medicine and all that because he leaving. That ain't cool. That's not going to ever be cool, point blank. Johnny, Johnny, you're going to be just like your father, okay? Your papa, you're going to be just like him, eating alone. Because I don't even understand, y'all, for the life of me, Lifetime Network, Dr. Pepper, whoever signed this assignment, why would y'all ask them to write letters to their 10-year-old selves? Y'all know. Johnny don't respect Bow. So why would Johnny tell Bow anything else about his, his growing up, okay? His adolescent life, okay? I wouldn't care. If I was Bow, I would be like, I don't really get, I, I really don't care. Okay, your daddy left you. You have daddy issues. We knew that from the very beginning. I mean, y'all, did we not not know that? We knew that. Johnny is, he's done with the with the marriage. He's done. Um, he is going to, and, and this is what I can't respect with Johnny. How dare you go to her people or talk or how dare you and her best friend or ex-best friend talk amongst yourself you, yourselves about your wife and her past 
and how she dated. Like, hmm. And then you ran with the shit. You ran with the information as another excuse to be done. Just say I'm done, Johnny. Just say I'm done with the hair plugs and, 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 and grease in my scalp because I'm going bald. And just let the hair go like you need to let bow. And um, Mirla, um, Gil's story of his father being killed and him he's he's showing Mirla his childhood apartment it's um a little small apartment and i could just imagine the the thought that came up as you're sitting you know as uh, being across the street from the house where you told the story of your how your father was shot and ultimately he died um as a result in the hospital um that was really really sad and i said in order to tell that story you gotta trust your 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 mate but i really didn't i don't know if i'm if i'm asking of too much emotionally for mirla but if my husband and my husband was telling me a story about his his childhood and the loss he took and the things he remembered from that day, I, I'm sure because of who I am as a woman, I would be holding his hand, hugging him, letting him know that I, I'm thankful, you know, that I respect what he's telling me and you know i would make him feel comfortable i wouldn't be standing there looking solemn like okay well so this is where you grew up okay well wait till you see my box it trumps it mirla baby did y'all see mirla's trap house did y'all see that little garage that she lived in? Baby, I know car washes bigger than Mirla's home that she grew up in. Mirla said, I, Mirla, I get it, y'all, with her. I do. Her house is humbling. It is. I get it. I'm not going to knock her ambition. I'm going to knock her attitude. I'm not knocking her ambition. I get why she got to get them Louis Vuittons. And I get why she has to wear, you know, she got to be fly. I get it. Because she worked hard for it. Because she literally, she, I mean, she started from the bottom, from the crate, honey. To her little, you know, her efficiency. I get that. I do, y'all. I'm like, <laughs> I get it. But at the same time, I'm I'm with Gil, y'all. Baby, you you have forgot or have worked hard to forget where you've come from. I I believe that. I know y'all gonna say, well, he just mad because he can't roll like her. That's true too. That came out too because when they was talking to um Dr. Pepper about that about saving, he tried he tried it. He gonna tell her, well, um, what if we can buy a house faster if you stop shopping? You ain't gonna ever tell no woman not to buy a pair of shoes or something nice if she works hard for you. Got your damn nerve. You better go fight another fire. You better go put them blazes out. Okay, you better go deal with the brush fire on the road somewhere and stay out of my pocketbook and my closet, Gil. Okay, if you know everything, pull some overtime. Work at a different station. Okay, well, I was like, Gil, you gonna tell her? And she said, my finances are fine. I got me if I want to buy a house. I got me. You got to get up to where I'm at. Dr. Pepper basically said, y'all in two different financial brackets. But what we can't do, Gil, is make her dumb herself down and stop living her comfortable lifestyle to make you feel better about your less than zero. Okay. I got a secret is here in my heart. Come on, y'all. Hey, and I can't even tell my name. Rachel got a secret, okay? Y'all remember the day she got, she got locked out? Uh-huh, she got locked out. 
and dogs out by the head and cussed her out. Who? <laughs> Anywho, um, Rachel's secret is that she called her ex her old thing. And she slept with her old thing um, in his bed. I mean, I'm sorry. She said she slept on the couch. I said, I'll be damned if you slept. That girl, girl, we grown around here. We, <laughs> I'm so grown. We so grown. Right, family, she's, she's playing in our face. We're so grown around here. We know, boo-boo, that you didn't, that man did not say you could sleep on the couch. Okay? You probably didn't even tell that man you was married. You probably told him, I got locked out my house. And I knew you would be up. Can I come crash in your room? And you know, because you were the ex, he made it real comfortable for you. Y'all know Rachel tried it, right, family? She tried it. Closure. Closure. Zach and Michaela needs closure. Baby, I thought we got that when Zach walked out. What we need closure for? See, Zach... <sighs> Zach playing. I ain't got time for this. Y'all, Zach playing in our face once again. Zach talking about some, he still want to be friends. Like he trace songs to somebody. He still want to be friends. But the marriage ain't going to work out. What are we closing out? What, what are we closing out? When you walked out, that was the end of it. And now Michaela is on what we on. Michaela was like, no, I'm good. We don't need to, what are we talking about? He was like, I would love for us to have this conversation. What we talking about, Sway? He walked out of a counseling session that was meant for conversation. I.e., you were supposed to talk there, fool. Ninja, you were supposed to talk there. You were supposed to sit there like a grown man with your, straighten your back out, have a conversation. Not say, I've had enough. I'm out. You want to spoil this one the time to hit the deuces, fool. This was time to say, Michaela, here's my experience with you. And y'all hash it out right then and there and let it be what it's gonna be from that point on. Oh, that's boy play in my face too much. And I don't, I don't, mm, I don't play with people kids. Uh, I barely play with my own. I don't play with people kids. Okay. And Dr. Pepper. She made me mad. She gonna say, let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. I said, come on through, Juicy Face. This is about to be good. Come on, Juicy. Come on. Have you two been giving words of affirmations? Juicy Face, what they got to do with anything? You see, the ship has sailed over here. You see, there ain't no more cool in the game. What you doing asking them for words of affirmation? She just told, she told the man last week to take his ass to bed. She told the man last week to take his ass home. She cussed the man out, this, not once, but a few times. What, what we affirming? What we affirming? Dr. Pepper, you was tired, weren't you? You was tired of talking to them to ask them that type of question. I'm pretty sure. And then... This fool going to say, well, nah, um, I want to have a conversation with her. So, Michaela, I wanted her. I, she over there smiling. I said, stop. Girl, what you smiling for? I would have a scowl like this. No, I'm so good on Zachary Clark. Lose my number. I would have that type of attitude, okay? I would not be like, <laughs> he see, see what I mean? He's still confusing. He still can make me smile and laugh. And I ain't laughing at shit. Not a damn thing. I'm not laughing at nothing because you ain't funny. Your antics ain't funny, period. And then he acting like this a manager and, and, and um employee type of type, type of vision you talking about well my hours are from nine to five i'm big red and um if you want to talk my door is always open oh we got an open door policy let's see how about I like that open door policy you want to still talk about it seven days ryan seven days 
seven whole days. Hey, come on, Tony, now the work from you. Mm, mm, mm. Anywho, you got seven days, Ryan, and you couldn't stay your ass off of plenty of fish. You could not delete your accounts from Tinder, Bumble. You got to be kidding me. This fool, this fool is on a dating site talking about he, um, he was, uh, inactive and her girlfriend got matched with him on the site, which means he was active. He, he, they got matched on the site and he's sitting there with nothing to say, just, she says, my girlfriend just sent me this text. I have the proof. You, you're on this dating website. He said, um, 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 no, I'm not. Now, what, what is hateful, Ryan, is that you just let this girl talk about her childhood. She did her whole letter to her young self. You sat up there and did your letter, even though it was weak as hell, to your young self. You didn't say nothing, nothing about marriage or, or, or any of those things. You talked about your, your friend who, who had a freak accident at work and passed. You said nothing about growth or experience yet you on a dating site and then she says are you he said well i'm not active i can show you i'm not active she says what's hurtful is that you won't even admit that you were on the site because it shows your last activity time and date you won't show you won't you're not you're not honest in that my friend matched with you, which means you're on there and you won't even be honest and say, yeah, I do have a dating site. And yes, and then he, I would have rather him say, you know what? I had the site before you. And yes, in the midst of us trying to figure out our marriage, okay, I was wrong for entertaining the whole dating and seeing what else was out there because I know that this isn't going to work. Basically, married at first sight lifetime, y'all basically just showed us who gonna, who ain't gonna make it. You basically just did that. Oh, and Johnny, y'all, before I get off here, Johnny, I'm through. I'm through with you. Johnny is a punk. Johnny goes and he's talking to Bow's friend, supposed to be her best friend. I said, well, friends like that, who the hell needs enemies? This girl and told him everything that Bao would like to forget in her past and said, I can't be with anybody like that. And she told me that you like to build a bear. You like to build a bear. I said, oh, she on that build a bear type of man. She want to build a bear. She want to tear the man down to build him up. And that's what she likes. And I'm not here for it. And he basically said, I'm done with the marriage. I said, baby, you been saying you was done for what the last week no i'm i'm lying he been saying he was done for the last month y'all battle is like well in my past i was broken i was lost and i might have been wrong and did some things but i'm still a good person and you know what the ball is in your court he gonna tell her you making me seem like i'm this mean person no you ain't seeming yo yo ass ain't seeming you mean as shit to her and I don't even know why she keeps still trying to make this work with you. Every chance she get, you dogging her out. You bring up this, this, really? Instead of saying, well, who she who she was then, I don't, I'm not getting that same person now. Okay, yeah, he was reaching for straws. He grabbed the right one and he running with it. He's running with it. Dr. Pepper even said, you you don't want to deal with your emotions. You just want to be done. I said, very, very good, Dr. Pepper. You're absolutely right. He does not want to deal with his emotions. So damn sad. Drop dead, friend. And Bow, you right. You absolutely right to, to sit there and tell him if he, it, 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 it's done. But here's the thing. Y'all laughed. I laughed when she took that one. She said, you done? 
are you done? He said, I'm going to, I'm going, I'm going to my apartment. She says, okay. Hmm. She said, so you're not, you're not going to. You're not gonna finish your wine either. I I can have it, okay. And you're not coming back to drink the bottle. I'm a, I'm gonna drink that too. <laughs> That's me, y'all. That's well, you guys. This was my review, my recap from Married at First Sight. Who? What can I say? What can I say? <laughs> they was just playing in our faces and full of it. But anywho, if you enjoyed this review. And you was just, you know, you was right with me on what I had to say about these crazy couples. Please don't forget to like this video. I would appreciate it. Y'all showing out, honey, on these Meredith First Sight Reviews. Oh, and please don't forget to, um, if you didn't watch it this week or if you need to get caught up or whatnot, um, I review Queens. I also review... Um, our kind of people. I almost forgot. Yeah, I do. Our kind of people. And I think one of my subscribers asked me to do, um, put a ring. No, not to put a ring on it. That's a, that's the wrong show. They asked me to do, um, ready to love. I did it last season. I don't know if you guys want me to do it this season. I have been watching the show. Um, but I'm not sure if that's something you guys want um to watch for me because i'm 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 telling y'all now i'm gonna cut i'm gonna cut a lot of these people up i'm dead serious seriously um but anywho yeah if you like this video please like comment share subscribe hit the bell notification so that you don't miss me and once again my name is carla and if you're interested in subscribing do that do that boo okay and again welcome and if you're new Put newbie, put newbie down so I can personally say thank you and not just hit you with like, you know, a heart. I want to personally say thank you and welcome. All right. I'll see you guys soon later. Let me know if you want me to review um, the the DC crew for um, that show. And I'll see you guys soon. All right, y'all. Bye, pretty girl. Girl, I'm about to do like how she was doing. Take my... My drink and I'm gonna go. I'll see y'all later. Bye, y'all.